that mercy isn't passive, but active. It's not a matter of waiting for those who need mercy to come to us. We have to go out in search of them, wherever and whoever they may be. In the gospel we've just heard, the shepherd doesn't sit down with the 99 and wait for the lost sheep simply to wander back to the fold. He'd be waiting forever. He has to go in search of the lost sheep who's in mortal danger and bring it back to the fold. If he does that, then there's safety for the lost sheep and, we're told, joy for the shepherd. So too the woman who's lost the coin. She doesn't just sit down moping and wait for the lost coin to pop into her lap. She searches high and low for the lost coin. And her hard work is rewarded with the joy she then shares with her neighbours. Mercy then is active. It goes in search of the lost. And it has as its fruit joy. A merciless world will always be a joyless world. A world of passivity that drowns in depression. A merciful world is a joyful world full of the energy that never ceases to reach out and search. That's the world of the gospel. That's the world of God. It's the space of the church, the space that the church seeks to expand more and more. That's the church's true mission. Mercy then is a verb rather than a noun. It's an action word. It's something we do. And that's what drives the annual Catholic campaign that we focus upon today throughout the Archdiocese. The campaign isn't just about thoughts and feelings, it's about action. It's about the works of mercy, without which our faith is either dead or dying. The annual Catholic campaign was established to do away with the many Sunday appeal envelopes that filled the pews in other times. We decided to gather the Archdiocesan ministries into one big appeal, but also to help people learn more of what the church is actually doing and to seek their support for the church's works of mercy for her mission. Now, the campaign focuses on four of these works. First, the MacKillop Brisbane Catholic School Fund, which helps Catholic children from families in difficulty to have a Catholic education. It seeks to do now what St Mary MacKillop did years ago. Secondly, the Holy Spirit Seminary, which trains the priests of the future to be missionaries of mercy, going out in search of the lost, wherever and whoever they may be. Third, the Priests Foundation, which supports the pastors of the church who have laid down the burden of responsibility, but who are still a vital part of the church's life. And then fourthly, Centre Care's pastoral ministries, which reach, reach out in mercy through services like psychiatric counselling, family support, hospital chaplaincy and prison ministry, and so on. So today, I ask you all to support the annual Catholic campaign, perhaps by making a regular monthly gift of an amount which means something to you, something more than loose change. Every dollar given will be carefully spent. I can promise you that. And spent for the purposes I've mentioned. The money isn't given to the archdiocese or the archbishop. It's given to those we serve. It's not our money, it's their money. That's why we're very careful about how it's spent. Hi, I'm Nick and this is my wife Caroline. Together with hundreds of other people across the Archdiocese, we've been invited to be ambassadors for this year's annual Catholic campaign. Supporting the annual Catholic campaign is something that's really important to us. The campaign supports things like our retired priests, new seminarians, the work of Centre Care, which touches so many people on a daily basis, and also supporting disadvantaged children right across Brisbane. To us, it's important to contribute to this campaign as it gives us an opportunity to assist in fulfilling the church's mission in our own archdiocese. You'll find these envelopes at the end of your queue. We invite you now to fill in your details. You can make a tax deductible or non-tax deductible gift. We ask you to complete the form clearly so that we can send you a receipt, thank you, 
and let you know how your money's being spent. We hope you'll join us this year in being uh, contributors to the annual Catholic campaign. More importantly though, your prayers are what's needed at this time, not just for the work of the Catholic campaign, but also for the people that it supports. Thank you for your time and thank you for your support. Pope Francis has shown us all what it means to do mercy. It's not rocket science. In the end, it's very simple. As simple as showers in the Vatican for the homeless, or a barber to cut their hair, or a laundry service to wash their clothes, as we have here in Brisbane. It's also as simple and as important as the gift you give to the annual Catholic campaign. Simple it may be, but a difference it really does make in the lives of real people in real need. So I encourage all of you today to give generously to the campaign so that the church in this part of the world can continue to go in search of the lost, expanding the space where mercy and joy can find a home and flourish.